Crypto Crow coming at you with a scheduled video. I know I'm not doing this live. I am probably in bed sleeping because I have an incredible week ahead of me starting first thing Monday. And while you're watching this, I may very likely be launching Crow's Nest X beta to a private group of people. So in the meantime, I wanted to kind of go over a couple more of these trading patterns that may benefit you in your trading efforts. Hopefully you're learning right along with me as I try and explain some of this stuff in a little more detail. Now, earlier we went with some reversal patterns uh, yesterday, rather for, well, for me today. Uh, and th th this morning we're gonna go over some continuation patterns. Now, I already went over pretty much the falling wedge, um, the falling wedge and the rising wedge uh, in the previous video. Today we're going to go over the bullish rectangle, bullish pennant, bearish rectangle, and the bearish pennant. So let's take a look at the charts and start popping off some examples of these. All right. So the first one we're going to look at is the bullish rectangle. And basically what you're going to see is you're gonna see a huge stream. You're gonna see a, a, a very nice uh, push upwards. And then the price action you're gonna notice is gonna start basically just going up and down, up and down within the confines of a, of a top and a bottom. And typically when it does this off of a bullish pump, it's typically a sign that it's gonna to continue to the upward. And so basically what you're looking at when you see something like this, you're going to want to start your entry, you know, technically if this were, this should be probably filling out a little bit more because it already kind of started to narrow. This could almost be a pennant uh, to some degree, but if you're looking for this, you're looking for this sideways um, price action over a period of time. And once it starts to break out of this, that's typically when you're gonna go in and you're gonna make your entry. And you're gonna set your stop loss down here, which you know, in a situation like this, I wouldn't set it all the way down here, but this is just for example purposes because ultimately you're wanting to give it enough room to continue moving sideways if that's gonna be the case. But if it breaks up out of this, uh, there's a good chance that it's going to continue moving up for a while. And then you want to basically watch this. You want to, you can either set your target to where you're comfortable. And ultimately, once you've broken out of this, if you enter here, you might actually want to set your stop loss around here somewhere. Um, just to kind of cover yourself a little bit better. Because there's a lot of fluctuation activity available here. And you may not want to, you know, you might not want to chance that. So, and as the price rises... You're going to want to continue changing your stop loss and riding that price action all the way up until it starts to dip. And then when the price stops, you'll either get stopped out or you'll exit your position somewhere up here for some pretty solid profit. Okay. Next, we're going to look at the bullish pennant. Now, this is a similar situation. You're going to have some, some bullish price activity. Uh, moving into this pennant and then you're going to start to see the pricing kind of consolidate and when the the momentum is bullish it's it's very similar to that sideways activity but you're going to find this in more of a pennant formation and once you get here um, you know again you're going to start to notice the price break out of this um, 
this, you know, basically move out of this top position and this top level, this channel, if you will. And you're going to want to set your entry somewhere right around here, right, right where that starts to break out. You'll set your stop loss. You can set it lower. You can set it somewhere in here if you want. Uh, but there's a chance, you know, if you were to set your stop loss here and let's say the price action, because think about it, this is this is hindsight. So you're not actually going to be, you're not going to see everything so clearly. You're going to be sitting here with nothing over here. None of this has happened yet. So you're basically watching this and you're, you're setting your stop loss a little beneath the bottom of this channel here because the price could continue moving a little further out, at which point, you know, you're going to wait for this to break out. So you're not looking for this exact setup you're looking for confirmation and that confirmation is going to come when the price action is broken out of this channel okay once it's broken out of there then you're going to start of course you want your target to be as high as you can get it but you're going to follow that price action all the way up and again just like before you're going to continue moving your stop loss up 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 in case you get a hard crash and hopefully you can stop out of that position at profit okay so that's that's basically what you're looking for in a bullish pennant Ta -ta -ta. All right, now we're looking for looking at a bearish rectangle. This is basically when it's the complete opposite of the other. You're basically looking for a huge dump or a pullback or correction or whatever you want to call it, given you know whatever the circumstances are. And then you're going to notice the price action consolidating, and it's going to kind of bounce up and down this narrow tunnel. For the most part, you might get a little of this, you might get a little of that, but for the most part, the price action is moving. And there you go. You're gonna you set your stop loss up here. It's the exact same, but here you're actually you know likely gonna be exiting your position because you want to accumulate more down at the target range. So you might you might exit whatever position you're in around here. Let that price continue to fall down, and you know your stop. You're not actually gonna have a stop loss on this necessarily, but you're gonna have your buyback. So, you know, if the price starts to come back up, you might buy back in before it hits your original entry position. But ultimately, this is so that you're you're looking at this because you want to be able to exit your position at a high. You want to re-enter your position at a much lower position, thus accumulating more of whatever you're trading. Finally, we've got the bearish pennant, which is pretty much the same thing for the most part. Uh, but you're 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 not necessarily looking for a direct sideways horizontal price action. You're actually coming out of a bearish turn. You're, you're moving forward into more bearish price action as the price is consolidating, the volume and everything else is dwindling down, which means you're typically gonna move into uh, another pullback. And so your, your, act, your actions are, again, you're, you wanna accumulate more of whatever it is that you're trading. You're going to keep if you're, if you're trailing this price action downward, you want to, you know, obviously, again, you're not going to have a stop loss, but you want to keep your eye on what's happening with the price so that you can enter back in before you start moving back up. And that is that. So as a little, um, uh, a little review again, you've got your falling wedge. You've got your rising wedge on the bottom left, your bullish rectangle bearish rectangle underneath that your bullish pennant and your bearish pennant now um there are there's also let me hear let me add this real quick because um there's also some others that are very similar to these however um doo -doo -doo -doo. all right so this is this is your bilat these are your bilateral patterns these are basically patterns that you're looking for um that that can ultimately go either way and and realistically any of these can because if you're you know let's looking at the ascending triangle you're coming out of a, a of a, a bullish price pump and you know the price action is going to consolidate into a narrower channel and 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 ultimately you could break up or down and what you're looking for ultimately is is confirmation that either or is going to be the case and then you take action based accordingly based on that price action accordingly uh, the descending triangle same situation um, you're looking for these patterns and you're you're just recognizing you know based on the breadth of these uh, channels that they're starting really wide like the symmetrical triangle 
you know, you're, you're, they're all basically doing the same thing. Um, but you know, you're looking for these channels because you're, you, you figure, okay, the price action could either go up or down. Um, ultimately in, in, in technical analysis, anything can happen, especially if you're trading in Bitcoin. So never invest more than you can afford to lose because you never know when that could happen. And it could literally happen at any moment. So you want to be very careful. Make sure you're playing these swings uh, with an effective stop loss. Track all of your trades and, and start putting together a journal of everything that you're doing. And just like in the previous video, you know, when you're finding these patterns uh, in current price action in any given position, uh, I want you guys to share it in the Murder of Crows Telegram channel. Let other people join in on what you're finding. Uh, the more people, we've got 3,236 individual members in the Murder of Crows Telegram channel. And, uh, you know, if we got a couple hundred of you guys out there hunting these patterns down and sharing them with the community, it's going to help people potentially get into some really fun trades and hopefully make some money. So I bid you guys adieu. I will see you soon live, probably tomorrow, which will be Tuesday for you folks watching this video. Make sure you smash those likes, add your comments, add your questions to the, to the video below. And uh, until next time, guys, crow your coins, and I'll see you again real soon. Have a good afternoon.